Hey guys, so today was about going to be my next rant video and it was going to be on this CD but for a few reasons one being my beard and the fact that, that got shaved and the fact that I don't like being near this CD for more than five minutes so I'm going to leave this rant, it's not going to be Woofy giving you the rant today. I'm going to leave that to a very, very good friend of mine. You'll see him shortly, but for today, Woofy out. Mm. Oh yeah, the Macho King Randy Savage, yeah. And today I'm taking over Woofy's rants, and we're gonna do it uh, on this peasant CD. Ooh, So guys, the first thing I have to say about A Thousand Suns, as an album, it is terrible. Some of the quote unquote songs on this album are not even songs at all, they're just little political interludes that make absolutely no sense at all. And I just want to point out that this is not one of those typical reviews where I'm basically saying just because it's not hybrid theory, it sucks. Because I'm not like that. I like a lot of the post hybrid theory albums. Yeah, I'm guessing that's blasphemy for somebody who's a hot, hardcore Linkin Park follower. But, you know, there's no point. The only CD that I hate that they did is this one. Because. Half of it is political gibberish. That's what I had to say about all that. And the few songs that are on this album that are great, they are absolute gems. I'm not saying anything bad against the actual songs on this album because they're all brilliant. It's just the other half of the album lets it down. Although all the songs that are actually on this are brilliant, I cannot fault any of them, really. It does seem like this album is just an advert or a commercial for the Transformers films. That's how it feels. And a lot of the little interludes, it, all the political gibberish, it all just seems like recycled shit. I'm being very nice about this album, considering some of the scathing reviews that have come out about it, but the political gibberish in this album is absolutely recycled garbage. And I hate to say that about anything to do with Linkin Park, because they are my favourite band, and I've enjoyed almost every CD that they've brought out, um, with the exception of Recharge, which I think is a reanimation ripoff that was done very poorly, but... It doesn't compare, it pales in comparison to how bad this album is, as an album. One positive about this album though, is the names that they've chosen for some of the songs. It's very reminiscent of things that Linkin Park named their songs. I mean, there are, I'm going to pretend that the little interludes are actual songs because some of the names are actually brilliant. The Requiem, Burning in the Skies, Robot Boy, Waiting for the End, Wretches and Kings, The Messenger. All very Linkin Park-esque. Um, some of the songs that I enjoy, um, I know this will sound very hypocritical after what I said earlier, but the songs that were actually in the Transformers movies, like Iridescent and Waiting for the End, they were all, they're brilliant songs. They're m amazing songs. And I could listen to Iridescent all day. Um, the Catalyst, 
the first single off this album. Not so much because it does it does sound like that they've listened to too much Skrillex and are cranking it up a bit too much. And nothing against Skrillex. I mean, Bangarang is one of my favorite songs of all time, but he needs a bigger repertoire than just that. Um, and but there's not a lot of meat to this album. All right, enough of that. Um, but yeah, it's just there's not a lot to it, and that's a shame for a Linkin Park album. Um, well, at the very least, this was cheap, and I wanted the entire collection. So, in closing, if you're complete, if here's my advice: if you're a completionist, get this. You know, it can sit pretty in your collection, and you never have to turn it on. You can rip the rip the music for MP3s and. Put it on your iPhone or iPod or whatever media device you have, and that'll be the end of it. But if you're just a casual listener and are wondering what CD to buy, if it's Linkin Park or otherwise, don't waste your money on this. It is really not worth it. And you know what? That parental advisory sticker right there, it doesn't mean shit all. It doesn't mean it's going to be a better album. It doesn't mean anything. You know? Die Hard fans, buy this to put in your collection and leave it there. Casual fans, don't bother. Or do bother, it is your money after all. But anyways guys, that was this very brief edition of Woofy's Rants. Thank you to the special appearance by my good friend March. Hey, no problem, brother. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah! And I will see you for my next video, which should be Vlogs Episode 3. Or Reviews Episode 3. And I've got a great review coming up. It's on, one of, on my favourite movie of all time. It's on Rush Hour 2. And you're probably asking yourself, why review Rush Hour 2 when there's the first one and the third one to review? Simply for the fact of I didn't like them as much as I did the second one. But anyways guys, that's it for today's episode of Rants. I've been Woofy, this has been Deadbolt Dragons. Peace.